Good day, Ruskin enjoyers. I hope you're doing alright, because it's May Force Wipe. The update's gone through about 30 minutes ago, and I'm sure many of you are enjoying it right now. So I've decided to record this now, and kind of skip ahead, you know, maybe there'll be a second video uh, portion recorded a little bit later, to see the reaction. Because basically, of every Force Wipe, we get some changes, and we get a blog post going over all the changes. And there's some interesting choice of words here that I want to go over, in which we can then discuss... LR300s. So sit back and relax, let's just scroll down. So, with uh, every force wipe, we have the blog post, it goes into detail what they've changed, they explain themselves, you get the idea, but over down to here we have some choice words that I want to read out. The LR300 tweaks. In addition, I've made some changes to the recoil, damage fall off, bullet velocity, and burst mode of the LR300. This should now be the best in class assault rifle. Interesting. And don't forget, everything is subject to change. So we'll talk more about that a little bit later, but more specifically, LR300s. So not too long ago, we did have the likes of the Black Diamond uh, LR300 skin being accepted in a rust store. And I just kind of outright sat there and said, guys, just take a look at all the LR300s. And you can still see it now. How many of them are in the negative? The vast majority. There is a problem in terms of meta usage where people just don't really have that demand to use the actual LR300 itself. And well, where's the justification to own skins? Therefore, all the skins are in the negative, basically. But changes have been made. They've apparently made the LR300 the best assault rifle in the game now. So, of course, as many people now loading up into the servers, and they're going to probably race to see if the changes are interesting, I'm sure some people have already tested it out and staging and whatnot, will we now see a lovely turnaround, and suddenly a lot of these skins end up in the positive? I look forward to it. But the main point is... As we have already discussed, I did bring this up, I kept telling you keep an eye on the commits, but I am surprised to see they pushed them through early. I thought this was going to happen around June time. Nope, May it is. So of course, if you were keeping an eye on the commits, props to you, you knew what was coming. So basically, we're now going to see a reaction. This is something that we should be doing a lot more of. <laughs> Always read into the details of what's going to be changed. I mean, it's not like they didn't announce it. Many people, especially on Twitter and whatnot, have been talking about the changes. Because it's not just the LR300. Uh, aim cones to the SAR and the SAP have been improved and, well, reduced, therefore improved. And then, of course, the uh, custom SMG has had a bit of a buff as well. So that's nice. But the LR300, with all the changes it's, been, it's received, things are looking so much more appealing for it now. But we do have to question... Yes, it does sound like the demand to use the skin, uh, the weapon itself is improving, or will improve, and it very likely will be rising up in the meta, the totem pole, I guess you will. But um, is it still going to be super feasible and be able to get these in-game and whatnot? We'll see. Like, how's it going to look in about a week's time? How's this all going to look in about a month's time? So I'll sit here and say this. I'm under the impression... The uh, LR300 skins that are part of notable collections would probably fare a bit better. But then gradually over time, hopefully all of them do improve. But nothing is a guarantee. We still need to hear out everybody's opinions and whatnot. But, but hey, maybe maybe it's just going to be super great from here now. And then all of these end up in the positive. Now, if you're a stupid person, such as myself, you probably ended up buying a whole bunch of these LR300s over the past few years. And if you're a stubborn person, such as myself, you probably didn't sell them. So if I were to quickly go over to here real quickly, if I go to my uh, inventory, I have bought many LR300 skins for super cheap because uh, i thought yeah lowball buy order i'm probably going to pick up a whole bunch of them and i did and then you can't really sell them for a massive profit so if you're like me wait it out a little bit longer right even if you only have like 10 lr300 skins just wait it out a little bit longer see what the re uh, the reaction is the response is and you're very likely potentially going to see these rise up in demand and rise up in price fingers crossed so um yeah it's fun investing into skins especially ones that uh <laughs> initially weren't super great but then get some changes and suddenly they go up 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 so that's cool that's nice all right then so uh as you can tell it's the second of may so what I'll do is I'll probably skip ahead maybe a day or two and we'll see what it looks like, you know, from here because SC men can see all the skins nicely in display. But will we see instant changes or will we have to wait a little bit longer? So with that... Okay, chat, here we are. So you might not be aware of it, but yes, five hours later since I recorded earlier, we've had the update go out. Many people happy. Many people very pleased with the likes of the brand new LR300. Uh, all the changes, the patch notes and whatnot, all listed here. Funnily enough, the SAR didn't actually get its update. It never got its aim cone changes. That We, we don't see it listed here. The SAP did. The SAR hasn't been mentioned at all, so something might be going on there. But anyway, 
We're continuing on from our discussion with the likes of the LR300, which is quote unquote supposed to be the best assault rifle from here on now. Mr. Mr. Hobo, you've been saying you love it a lot. Feel free to express yourself as you go into detail explaining how you like it so much. And we are noticing certain LR300 skins are getting bought out. The Damon Strike, for example, as you can see there, with only 22 listings on the Steam market, hardly anything left. That could easily rise up and price ever so much more. It's the only glow in the dark aim site LR300 we have that exists. Hellfire used to, doesn't anymore. That's a whole funny situation. But yeah, we are seeing people starting to look at it and think, I think I want to go get a skin now. I actually I actually want to use this gun a whole lot more. I love it so much. Anyway, moving on. So, um, we actually got a brand new LR300 today. Not really selling that much, but I never really actually showcased this to people, the most expensive LR300s, because, of course, this has been around since 2019, and with much older skins leads to fairly high prices. Now, I just wanted to get this across to a lot of people. Some of these are actually being pumped up at the moment. Cybercode, for example, is one of them. Holographic is one of them. If you take a real quick look at both of these, very, very quickly, I can just quickly showcase to you. If you look at sales history, yeah, that don't look normal, does it? So, yeah, that's kind of being pumped. And if we go over to here, this was been this has been pumped since like December. So yeah, we could just rule those out. Let's not bother looking at them. But Black Diamond is currently in the positive. It's the only Black Diamond skin in the positive right now with only like 40 listings. In fact, it's been bought out even more. So there's only 31 listings of this now. Is that correct? Can we just confirm that? Come on, don't be shy. Shirt. Oh no, I'm looking at the SCMM page. Stop it. Ah, 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 ah. Sorry, hedge moment. It happens a lot, don't worry. So right now, uh, oh, oh, hello. Yes, you're very comfortable. We've only 31 listings. The builders are improving. Things are looking good. And it's trending upwards. Things are improving. Now, uh, what else do we have? What's a very notable skin we could take a look at? Black Gold LR300. Right, that sold quite a lot about two years ago. Part of the Black Gold collection. Black Gold hasn't been doing super great over the past few years, but I feel like this has been very stable over the past few years, in which you can see that things are changing for the better. Right now, there's only 99 listed. Currently, it's sitting at $1.65, and if we go over to here to its sales history, trending upwards, that's nice, but if we actually look at its broad history, you can see it's been very stable for like the past year or so, not exactly in a very good position, but all of a sudden, it's just trending upwards ever so nicely all of a sudden. What's going on? People are jumping in on LR300 skins. It's doing better. And I like this. This is only looking... This is only the first day. It's only the first six or so hours. Not even that. <laughs> so, what do you reckon is going to happen for likes of all of these right here? Yes, yes. You know, it's still quite a lot of them in the negative. And as I did point out earlier, I was under the impression that the uh, skins from notable collections or bigger collections would probably be uh, bought out first. And of course, now we've also noticed the more expensive ones are being bought out as well. Uh, yeah, things are looking better. LR300s are being appreciated. Better gun demand leads to more demand for the likes of the skins and using the skins. And well, skin prices are expected to uh, have a nice turnaround now. So we had so many of these in the negative, And well, hopefully they probably boost up a fair bit. So many of them listed out around a dollar each. Will it last, though? Are we all just hyping it up too much initially? I don't want to really rush into this. You still have to be a fair bit careful, but everyone seems to be happy so far. So LR300 beams now. I have been playing with it all day. You, you, oh, you love playing with your gun, do you? <laughs> oh, I love to beam with it. All right, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, keep an eye on this. This is the moral of the story, basically. When something gets a buff, you have to be prepared to consider making an investment towards it. Because maybe, just maybe, as I said, we start to see all of it go up. But I think the collection skins are probably a better option to uh, look at. Always look back at their past and see if they're higher priced in the past and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. And um, Blackout has a red iron sight. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We discussed that. Oh, wow, you have gone up in price as well. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes, right. So, uh, about two or three weeks ago, we had the, um, we had the Black Diamond LR300 come out. And it was selling for $4 a piece. And we just straight up told you, look, just go just, just go get the Blackout LR. They're the exact same thing. Just to reiterate, as you can see right here, you've got a perfectly cool black-styled um, uh, LR300 here with a very useful red aim sight. Well, it just so happens that this is now boosted up to $3. I wonder why. Hmm. What did we just discuss? Hmm. So, uh, yeah, Bard is pushing upwards, pushing above $2. We didn't see that before, did we? All of this has just recently appeared. So if I go down now to the sales history, yeah, changing upwards 
and it's actually trending quite a fair bit upwards so if we look at the grand scheme of things for a very long time this skin has been very stable that's just a bit of i think that was a pump i can't remember i don't fully know about all of that but as you can see after the uh you know the easter dip and whatnot it's suddenly going up 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 like a step maybe it'll go up another step maybe it'll go even higher who knows things are moving things are happening if you invested uh, early, or if you're like me, as I've already mentioned, uh, if you ended up stuck with a whole bunch of skins, you might be uh, able to flip them for a fairly decent price in the near future. Or potentially, they might go up in further as we enter the summertime. We very likely might be having some very special, interesting event taking place maybe around during this month, or maybe around the beginning of June. I think there's some sort of special big Twitch event taking place with big streamers, which will probably get a lot of people interested to look at Rust all over again. You know, with all these gunplay changes, you know, you've got, you got the likes of bikes on the horizon, maybe a brand new biome. Tigers, tigers, yep, they're bringing in tigers apparently. We very likely might match up to the amount of people we have playing during the likes of May, June and July in 2023. And, well, I can sit here and say Ruskin prices were very, very right, uh, very, very nice around then. And maybe, with a lot more people being aware that LR300s are doing better now in terms of you know how well they play and perform, the prices of the skins will go up as well. So, I'm optimistic. I'm looking forward to all of this. And I hope you are too, chat. And, well, now you've got to consider, do I want to invest? And you've got to go through the effort now and trying to figure out which one's the best one to chase after. <laughs> there's so many options, but they're all cheap. That's the problem. So you don't know which one's going to be the better option. Maybe the older skins, because there's a lot, a lot less of them. Maybe uh, maybe you invest into the more expensive ones, because they're already well established and people like that. I'll just point that out. So yeah, uh, over the course of like a week or so, the Damon Strike's gone up by about $10. So we'll see what happens next. Chat, I hope you look forward to this. And uh, I wonder what's going to happen with the SAR. Because the SAR was supposed to have um, a buff as well with the SAP. If I could just quickly confirm that. But um, it looks like... So if I go over to here, Control F, SAR. That didn't happen today. That did not happen with the SAP. Only the SAP got changes. Oh, it got subtracted. It got removed. Oh, I didn't notice that. So that leads me to believe with the potential brand new SKS actually being introduced as a weapon... You very likely might see the SAR being nerfed and the SKS takes its place. And I wonder if the SKS can be, can be made or not, which would likely mean that the, uh, the SAR, if it's nerfed, won't be used or made as much compared to the SAP, which would then lead to the SAP, you know, becoming more valuable because more usage, which would mean the likes of the Blackout SAP ends up becoming a whole lot more valuable. There's so many weird, like, tangents and, like, things you can figure out just by what's going on with the commits and whatnot. Keep an eye on the commits. Always keep an eye on the commits. In fact, we know we're getting a brand new weapon currently being produced. Blunderbuster. What the hell are you? I don't know, but hey, it's getting made. Animations, edits and whatnot. It's coming. I don't know what it is. Some sort of um, silly flintlock weapon. Let's just quickly show this to you. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's on the horizon. Keep an eye on the commits. Be aware of all the changes being made. And then you might be able to jump in and do an early investment. And walk away with some sweet, delicious looking profit. Right, well, that's it. That's my ramble. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see what happens next. Uh, if you are too cautious at the moment, don't jump in. If you don't have a lot of uh, Steam Wallet to work with, don't jump in. But if you've got quite a lot and you think, eh, let's give it a shot, by all means, give it a shot. So let's look forward and find out what's going to happen next with the likes of these LR300 skins. Mr. Shiftless actually brought up a very interesting point there. He mentioned that the M39 is a better version of the SAR already. No, you are correct. You are correct. What I'm saying is the SAR very likely, potentially, again, potentially, I don't know, I don't know if I face punch. This is all fantasy guessing, theory crafting, blah, blah, blah. I'm under the impression they might nerf the SAR, so it'll go SAR, then SKS, then M39, much like how you have Revolver, SAP, and Python. Because I can't assume, I, 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 I don't think... They'd have the SAR and the SKS being the exact same thing. Or maybe there are counterparts. Who knows? It's up to Face Punch, and Face Punch has some very strange decisions sometimes. Well, I only relate that to the choices of their skins and whatnot, but eh, whatever. So, um, just to point out, the SKS was supposed to be a special skin that was going to be part of the hazmat um, uh, pack in the general store, but everybody was like, well, just it, it looks great, and you've got sounds for it and everything. Just make it its own weapon, and Face Punch was like... Okay then. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll see what's going to happen with the likes of the SAR. But um, if we do see nerfs being written down and mentioned in the commits, you might want to sell your SAR skins. I'm just pointing that out now. All right, just 
yeah much like how uh with the lr 300 buffs we realized maybe we should invest into it if we see changes to the likes of the sar and it's going to be negative things maybe you might want to sell their skins so again more of the story keep an eye on the commits and react upon what's being mentioned blunderbuster i don't think that's going to really matter too much overall in regards to what's already currently out maybe it's just a much more powerful yoker knocking the door hello how you doing catch you later think goodbye